Hey guys, I know there are a lot of these circulating around like YouTube and internet, like everywhere, but I, you know, I wanted to take my own story and contribute it to the massed worldwide stories of these, and that is the creepy neighbor story. Yes, yes, I have one of those stories. <laughs> Yay! Except not yay. It, it still kind of scars me a little bit to this day. So a while ago, we started renovations, kind of, in our house. I don't know what that was with my shoulders. <laughs> okay, that was fun. Anyway, <laughs> and um, during this, we had to take out, like, we had to put in, like, new, like, blinds, you know, because ours were really busted and, like, breaking and stuff. So we needed, like, new ones for um, me and my sister. Yeah, our, like, just, like, me and my siblings, like, we needed, we needed new blinds on our windows. So while that was happening, there were a couple, like, days where we didn't have any, like, on our windows, like, at all. And that is the scary part because, so, okay, here's my window, right? And then across from us is like, you know, there's a driveway and then this is like the side of someone's house. And like, there's like a window and I can like see like into like our side of our house and my window is like, so there's like a window like directly across from each other. And... Um, you know, there was this really nice couple inside, they were older, and, um, you know, we got along, I guess, you know, I mean, yeah, yeah like, life is good, but then, while our blinds were down, they could see like straight through our window at all times of the day like and that scared the heck out of me because I had the top bunk so they could like see me the clearest and you know every night as I was like writing in my journal or like you know like doing anything in my bed like I would like wake up and like you know how you like you wake up and then you like sit up and you're like do I have to get, like do I have to get out of bed? Like do I have to move right now? No. No you don't. I lay in bed for like I wake up and then I lay there for like an hour. <laughs> I'm just like let me think for a moment. And then a moment turns into like 30 minutes and then 30 minutes is 45 and then 45 is like a whole hour. And the next thing you know, I'm like, you know what? I'm hungry. But that's besides, that's, that's a way, that's way sidetracked. Oh, but I was trying to say, it was like, yeah, so he could, this, this neighbor, this dude could see me all the time. Now, whenever I was in my bed, because there were no blinds. And as scary as that is, because it's just this dude staring at me through my bedroom window, it gets worse. See, there was a moment, there was a moment where, um, so, I, let's see, I think when all this happened, I was like 13, but yeah, I had all my pajamas, like, on my bed, you know, because that's where you sleep, so that's where you keep your, like, your pajamas, so yeah, I'm, I would like, you know, jump up or like climb up the bed and grab my, like my PJs. And one night when I was doing that, I already had taken my shirt off and I was like, gosh dang it, forgot to grab them like before it actually started like getting changed. And so I had to like climb up my bed to my bunk and grab my PJs. And as I was doing that, I like turned and looked at like the window and he was there staring at me and I was this 13 year old and like a bra and I was like holy crap so I was I just like jumped back down I was laying on the floor and I was like oh 
you know, hey sister, like, uh, I don't know. I don't necessarily, I don't know if I want to say her real name. I'll just call her Rebecca. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I was like, uh, hey, can you, uh, can you help me? And she's like, oh yeah. And she grabbed them for me. Cause you know, she wasn't changing into pajamas yet. Like I was. And shortly after we had blinds back and we could close them and it was really great and we had our privacy again. <sighs> that, oh, we're just talking about it. I just kind of, I remember, ah! I don't know why he was looking through the window, but like, Mm. Ah. Dab when you yawn. Eight. That's how the dab was invented though. Someone was sneezing or yawning and they were like, Ooh. and then it was a dance move. Simplest things. Start trends. Who knows, maybe never YouTube video. Somebody's gonna be doing a dance break like me when I start to do the shoulders thing. It's so random. Anyway, um, so that is it. Um, let me know what you think. I think you guys like my story times, you know. They generally do well. Uh, yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys on Monday.